When I hear the phrase "all you can eat," my heart starts beating like I'm about to go on a date with my crush. Why? I like to eat a lot, and I just love the limitless nature of it. And today we're going to explore three different all-you-can-eat restaurants in Korea with completely different themes. Oh yeah, I know you guys like K-drama moments, so there's some of that in this video too. So what are you guys doing? Follow me on my journey. You guys know I love pizza. That's why I'm especially excited for today because I'm going to this all-you-can-eat pizza buffet owned by a really famous person. What was his name? Uh, I think it was Gordon Ramsay. This guy must be like famous on TikTok or something. I've been to a few of his other restaurants and that makes me even more excited for this place because the other places were really good too. I hope you don't disappoint me, Chef Ramsay. Well, it's Chef Ramsay. He would never disappoint me. Well, one thing that I've noticed is that the tables are kind of uncomfortable here. Thank God my friend and I are both skinny. But the tables are way too small and too close to other customers. The special thing about this place is that their pizza is all you can eat. It's about $23, which I think is really affordable for a celebrity chef-owned restaurant. Well, I had to pay extra $3.50 for unlimited fountain drinks and extra $9 for this fries. But I love Chef Ramsay, so I'm not gonna complain. Can't live without some good American Coca-Cola. I know that Chef Ramsay knows what he's doing, but I have pretty high standards for pizza. So the way it works here is that instead of walking around to get your pizza, the servers walk around with freshly baked pizza and hand them out to the customers one slice at a time. Oh, this will be so good. Like I always say, everything looks pretty until you put them in your mouth. Now let me tell you guys, when it comes to pizza, I have pretty high standards. I've already read good reviews about this place, but you can't trust Koreans on a few things, their relationship status and taste in pizza. Some pretty good pizza. I felt like it was a really good pizza, but let me be honest here. While I think it's far better than everyday franchise pizzas, I felt like it wasn't as good as some of the best pizzas that I've had in New York and other places. Hey, but it's all you can eat. And for pizza that you can get in Korea, this is phenomenal. But there was one issue that I think they should improve on. All right, so where's my next pizza? I do feel like there's some issues here with this restaurant. The food doesn't come out as fast as you want it to. And there's a lot of people spending most of their time just waiting. I mean, honestly, it's kind of ridiculous. I eventually got my next pizza, which was their margarita pizza. It ended up being one of my favorite at the place. When it comes to people and pizza, I just want them to be simple like this, you know? That's my kale mushroom pizza. And uh, that's my JFC dirty fries or something. I mean, it looks alright. Let's give it a try. Cheese and french fries. I mean, this just can't be bad. It's good. Not sure if I would pay extra $10 for this next time. How about this kale pizza? Mm, looks healthy. Did you know that SM Entertainment is in this building? If we're lucky, we might run into Espa. And this one is something that I have to try. It's a pepperoni pizza. It's almost like eating kimchi at a Korean restaurant. This is a true measure of their quality. I think it's really good. To me, this is like a uh, 7.5. It's really good. There's a lot of room to get better. Oh, Chef Ramsay, what is wrong with you? You have pineapple pizza? You got pineapple pizza? Ah. What is your problem, Chef Ramsay? <laughs> but I still love him, so I'm gonna have to put this in my mouth. How good could it be? All right, Chef Ramsay. You seem to know what you're doing. I give you that. So usually when I eat pineapple pizza, I immediately respond negatively. It's not my favorite kind here. I think it's pretty decent. All right guys, can I quickly summarize now? Overall, the pizza was really good, but I didn't like the fact that the restaurant is all you can eat, but the times in between the servings were way too long. Eventually, I just waited for the pizza to pile up on my plate first so that I could consume it in my natural pace. My favorite pizzas were the margarita and the pepperoni pizza. As for the others, there were too many things on the topping. I think people would generally agree that those weren't nearly as good as the margarita and pepperoni. Given the price of $23 though, I would argue that the quality of the pizza was fantastic. Yeah, I thought that was pretty good. Oh. Wow, there was a lot of carbs. Should I go get some protein now? What a beautiful night. It's all Christmas in Korea. All year today, I worked out really hard. So I want some high quality, massive amount of protein. That's why I'm about to go to this all-you-can-eat tuna buffet. Are you excited? You don't have to be, because I am. I found this place called Min Chamchi, which translates to beautiful person tuna. I mean, those are two things that I absolutely love. 
Oh, this is really exciting. I've only seen photos of the food. 안녕하세요. They had a bar area and tables, but I wanted something more special. Luckily, they had one of their private rooms left for us, which is usually for people that made reservations. They had four different all-you-can-eat options. All of them were tuna, just with different cuts. Well, I'm kind of poor, so I decided to get the second cheapest option, their $43 special course. In the beginning, they gave us some tuna salad, but honestly, I just want the tuna sashimi. I'm so glad that I'm not a vegan. There was also miso soup and some porridge. They were okay, I mean, how good could it be? Get some corn cheese, super unhealthy, but super amazing. And finally, we got our tuna. Lastly, they gave us steamed egg. Wow. I don't know about you guys, it looks freaking good to me. Now, I'm not a tuna expert, so I'm not gonna try to break down different parts of the tuna. And all this, it's unlimited? That's so nice. Jesus, my biceps are about to get even bigger after this dinner. Just from the first look, it looks so really good for an all you can eat food. By the way, those shiny things, are they gold? Or are they shredded pieces of my heart? Just kidding guys, because they're the same thing. We don't have to waste more time. Let's pick up some wasabi. Place it on top of this sashimi. Take a moment to pay respect to the tuna. I'm sure it was a beautiful tuna. And stuff it in my mouth without hesitation. I would say it was good, but not unusual as far as the quality. This cut looks really good. I don't know what it is. Some of these cuts were definitely better than the others. And I think that's where the price difference came from. The more you pay, the better cuts you get. Oh, the corn cheese. Mm. All right, one step closer to obesity. Mm. So once you're done with this plate, they're gonna serve another plate until I tell them that I had enough. Honestly, their first plate is pretty large. I think a lot of people will be okay with their first plate. Every time I come to an all-you-can-eat restaurant like this, I get really excited. To pair with my tuna, I ordered a bottle of sake. I don't have that YouTuber money yet, so I got the cheapest one I could. There's this thing called punigi in Korea. <laughs> and that kind of matters to women. All right, let's set that punigi up. <laughs> oh, this is just perfect. My friend loves sake, and so do I. One for me too. All right, cheers everyone. Yeah, it's good sake. Drinking sake and eating tuna in a private room with a friend? Is this like the chillest thing that a man can do or what? We're out of tuna now. Not gonna lie, starting the second round, the cuts of the tuna didn't seem as good as the first plate. Also, the gold wasn't there anymore. But I liked it enough that I ended up getting the third round as well. At the end, they gave us this thing called meuntang, which means spicy soup. Ah, uh, 네. 그러면 아주 fantastic 하죠. <laughs> I like how she just ignores me. <laughs> <laughs> 감사합니다. 제가 라면을 좋아해서. Okay, I feel like I should stop trying to talk to her. Oh, let me serve this for you. 너도 라면 이거 좋아해? Uh -huh. All right. I'm gonna give you all that ramen noodle too, the instant noodle. When a guy does it for a girl, Aww. you know the bunigi is getting fired up. There you go. The soup was okay. I'm just not a fan of fish soup in general. But I can't deny that it went really well with the sake. It was $100 with the sake, more than what I planned on spending today. And $100 is a lot of money for a dinner in Korea. For that reason, I'm not sure if I'm gonna come back for more. Well, I just spent a bunch of money. I'll make sure to take some of their free coffee as well. I gotta say, that was a really fun dinner though. Well, every day is a beautiful day when you're with another beautiful soul. Today I'm here with Sunjin and we're gonna have some buffet together. We actually had a different plan. Uh, we were supposed to go to a lamb skewer barbecue, but uh, the place was closed. 
So instead, we're gonna go to this somewhat fancy uh, buffet restaurant. It's pretty exciting. How does it feel being YouTube famous? <laughs> she really appreciates your support, guys. Please say kind things to her in the comments. 그동안 살좀 빠졌다면서? 그, We were both really excited for the lunch. Except, I forgot, this is my life. Of course, there's gonna be another problem. So, there's a ton of people waiting to get into the restaurant. It's gonna be quite a wait. <laughs> ah, 괜찮아, 괜찮아. A lot of our plans are not going right today. Why don't we spend a little more time outside? It's Christmas. <laughs> Why couldn't they just have Uniqlo in this neighborhood, huh? It's too late to turn back now. Might as well get her something nice. The way I'm wearing the same thing every day, I should really be buying things for myself. What do you guys think? Mommy, do you want to get a job? I'm going to get a job. I'm going to Who's going to buy me a sweater for Christmas? Most likely no one. But I wanted to give something to Sunjin because she helped me with so many videos in the past and she deserves a Christmas gift more than I do. I'm going to get a job. I'm going to get a job. I also want to thank you guys, the viewers, because this gift really came from you guys. Thank you guys for your generous tips and donations. It's your hard-earned money, and I'll always try to spend them responsibly. Guys, there's this thing called gratitude. It's something that a lot of people tend to forget, but I don't forget about it. <laughs> All right then, should we start with the food? They had Korean food, grilled fish, a bunch of different kinds of meat. Wow, fried chicken, holy. All kinds of sushi. And of course, desserts. I noticed that almost all Korean buffets serve these waffles. At this point, we should just take it from Belgium. <laughs> I have to say, for an $18 buffet, this place was surprisingly good. Both in variety and quality, I would have thought that this would be about $30 in Korea. Wow. Oh, look at that. <laughs> it's definitely not the best buffet I've seen, but this would be such a fantastic place if you want a good variety for a reasonable price. I'm gonna dip it in there. Would you guys like some? Mm. The quality was generally good too, so I was really happy with that. I got some fish cake here, some tteokbokki. I got this fried food that's going to go perfectly with the tteokbokki. Okay. <laughs> so what you're supposed to do, of course you can eat some of that rice cake that's in tteokbokki. Deep fried sweet potatoes. Dip that in the sauce. Sanjin thought that the place was really good too. She ate a lot of food and that made me really happy. She looks like she's like 100 pounds. I don't know how she can eat so much, but I'm glad that she enjoyed it. Well, we definitely made our money's worth because we ended up getting so much food. Despite the fact that we were pretty full, we still wanted to get some desserts. Well, we got a good amount of desserts, probably more than we need. But this is a buffet restaurant. The only thing that matters is that we enjoy it. I'm gonna eat this bungabang from his butt just to make him feel more insulted. 
This guy's like the complete opposite of Cardi B now. I'll call him Johnny the Assless. All right, let's have this apple jam waffle. How? Fold it up. The desserts here were generally okay. None of them felt well crafted, but they were much better than supermarket pastries. Oh, so there was like $20 a person. That's not bad. <laughs> By the way, it might be a while before we can meet Sunjin again. She has to focus on her exam now, but hopefully she'll be back in the future. Go ahead and watch my other videos to support me. And thank you for watching. Thank you, thank you. Annyeong. <laughs>